inside the light is beyond creation. Yeah, we all know one of the foundations of the Zoy of the Arizal, Kabbalah, the Arizal was revealed that the light of Hashem, the way it's, it's in its in infinity, the air inside, is before the Tzimtzum. Because before the Tzimtzum means before creation, before anything, before any level. And there, there's not, nothing about worlds with love. That's the real in itself. And the Chidush is that even though Kabbalah says, the Arizal says, that the air itself, in order to create, you have to reveal himself, uh, I'm sorry, conceal himself, opposite of Arizal. You have to conceal himself, that's a Pshat Simpson. There's a concealment, a total concealment, right? That Hashem had to hide himself, in other words, in order the creation could happen. Nevertheless, he is still here. And not only is still here, he's revealed. That's the Chiddush. Because the Rebish that is still here, even will conceal himself. That's not a Chiddush of the mind, but that's something which is, the, we call it the Alad base of Siddhis. The Alter Rebbe says in Tanya, famous Perek in Tanya, the Alter Rebbe says, Simpson Shalai Kipshutai, which means that even though Kabbalah says that there's a Simpson, it's not literally, yeah, that they, they really, they himself really didn't uh, remove himself from this place. He's there, but he's not the Gilead. But here the Rebbe is saying, no, he is the Gilead. With that's the, that's the Chiddush of the Zoya. That's what the Zoya is trying to say, in itself, the Mata in He's trying to tell us that even though you learn in Kabbalah about Tzimtzum, about concealments, about all kinds of contractions that the Evishta made in order they shouldn't be here in order to give place to the world, Nevertheless, you should know that Eid himself is here, and not only is here, is here the Gilui. Yeah, the Ispashtus of the Gilui, there's that kind of Ispashtus and Gilui of Eid himself. After the Tzimtzum, in the world, still the Mato Mato, there's a certain Isgalus of David. What is the Pshat? So now he's continuing, says the Rebbe. The Zeu Eid himself, the Mato Adeitachdis, that's what the Zoya is trying to tell us. She Ispashtus of Eid, who bevchinas Eid soit. The expansion, the revelation of the, of the light of the Eishta is after the Tzimtzum until the lowest levels, until the lowest level. The question is, which, which level is called Mato Mato? We say until the Mato Mato, until the, 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 what, what's exactly the Madrega, which is called Mato Mato, is going to explain now. I want to add another point that the Rebbe teaches us in the minor, where the Rebbe says when you explain this minor, not the Likuda, which is very important. In the previous chapter, Friedrich Yud Beis, which we learned last year, the Friedrich Rebbe explained over there that there's another point about Eidus of Lemata. Not the Likuda, he explained in the previous minor to understand what this, cap- this capital, this Friedrich, heading on the previous Friedrich. So it's interesting. In the previous page, the Rebbe was saying that Erisof Lemato goes about the creation. The fact that Hashem created infinite, He created, and His infinity, His bleak mood, is expressed in creation. That was the point of the previous line. What it means to say that the Erisof, He created, for example, spheres, right? <coughs> All the spheres are creations, certain kinds of creations that Hebishtha made. He made spheres. He is not, Hashem is not into, he is himself is not spheres. Spheres is certain, spheres is kind of uh, descriptions, expressions, different kinds of levels. And he's beyond levels. But he created spheres. And the spheres he created has no limits. And so if we know about 10 spheres, we always speak about 10 spheres, right? But the Etzem, the Evishta created infinite spheres. He gave us only them. But the Etzem, it's at the infinity of the Ainsov, he created Ainsov spheres. The spheres, Elamis, also worlds. Besides spheres, there's something which is called worlds, which is also infinite. There's the infinity of Hashem, the way it's expressed in the creation of Elamis, until Nivroim, even Nivroim. Nivroim, which means physical creation. So there's also an expression of his infinity in the creation of Nivroim. Nivroim means the fact that we say that there is a, a quantity of creations which is beyond number. For Abu Ma'asecho, 
whatever. I'm not going to get into it now. I'm only saying that that is also one of the ways to bring out the image of greatness is infinity in creation. That was last year's point. This year, in the minor that we are learning now, is not about the creation of them, the way it's expressed in infinity, but in the gilu, the revelation, the way seeing godliness, seeing his, his presence, seeing the gilu of Hashem, the way the gilu of Hashem is being misgale, being revealed, even after the tzimtzum. So after the tzimtzum, there is certain things that reveal us, that tell us that you, you can see a certain expression of his infinity, even though there is a tzimtzum that happened. That's the point. And then the Rebbe says that this chidush is mato mato. What's mato mato? What is the, when you try to emphasize mato mato, what do you mean with the word mato mato? So that's what the Rebbe is going to explain now. They hate it. There is worlds which are called infinite elements. They are in higher elevators. He says over here the prophet Simpson. Some people say it's a mistake. And it has to be saying Lifnei Atzilus. And another minor which is more uh, Lifnei Atzilus. I'll go funny. There is a madrei of elements in Seish. Elom Atzilus which is also a high level. Shom. Over here, the Yenisot is being revealed. This is not such a good Kiddush, because they are Kelim. The Kelim are also Kavanis. It's not such a big wonder, the fact that the Yenisot is being revealed in the higher elements. It's not such a big wonder that the Kelim are receiving the Eidenso. So that's why that, that is not the Chidush of the Zoya when he says Mato. What is the Chidush of the Zoya when he says Mato, Mato, down below? Elam is Bia. This is the Chidush. That even the creation of worlds, which is our Elam, as we know, Briye, Tzira, Tzira, this is the real Mato, Arem, Bechinas, Mato, and even there, the Ebish says very different. Let me explain how they do it. So what does it say? I'll say it in other words, but then. It's a, there is a famous um, famous expression speaking about Atzilus. The world of Atzilus is a godly world, right? And the truth is, I don't know over here the level of of uh, knowledge in Mercedes, so uh, it could be people know a lot. A little, uh, <laughs> I'm new over here. I'm a guest over here, so I don't know how much I have to explain. Shalom Aleichem. Okay. But anyways, uh, if someone doesn't understand, you can, you can ask. Sure. Yeah, feel free. But I'm going to explain what, uh, to, at least to try to simplify the most as possible. So I, the world of Atsilas is a godly world. It's a godly world. Atsilas is called Elam Ahdus, the world of unity. Why? Because the unity of Hashem, the Echad, the Ahdus of Hashem, is revealed in Atsilas. Atzilus, even though Atzilus is already called the Eilam, world, mm-hmm. which means being a world means it has a certain limitation, a certain mm-hmm. boundaries, but those are not boundaries the way we know boundaries. In our aspect of boundaries, it means something that conceals, that doesn't let you see the Eishter. selfishness, yeshus, that kind of of, of boundaries doesn't exist in Atsilus. In Atsilus, the boundaries are because the Elishtar decided to reveal himself in certain kinds of, uh, we'll call it uh, faculties, uh, expressions of, of love, fear, chesed, gure, tiferes, that's the names of the spirit, which are different kinds of, of attributes, huh? aspects. aspects. So that gives us a certain limitation. But in those aspects, the Ibish doesn't reveal in there. In other words, when you say chesed, you don't see chesed only the, the results of chesed. Here, when you say chesed, a person has Baruch Hashem money in, the, in his, his pocket. So, so that's chesed. That he has Baruch Hashem uh, paid his bill, and so it's chesed. So, <laughs> so by us, the Ibish does chesed is being 
expressed in certain physical things. And at Silus, Chesed is Gavri Chesed. Chesed, the Eivish, that's Chazri Shalakad is Boruch. It's not about, yeah, it's, 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 it's a Likus. Yeah, I, we say by davening every morning, A Godel, La Gilu, La Noiro. So he is the Godel. Chesed is Gavri Godel. Gibra is the Eivish, that's the Eivish. So Atzilus, one of the names, one of the one of the names which Atzilus is called in Chassidus is Adam Elyon, the Adam of above. Adam, why the Atzilus called Adam? Because the same way a person has ten ten faculties, Atzilus also has ten spheres. But it's called Adam Elyon, says Chassidus. Because in Atsilus, even though there's ten spheres, there's a certain infinity which is revealed in those spheres. Not only, like we said just now, that there is, there's godliness, also the infinity of the Ishtar, the Blig Wool. The Blig Wool of Akadis Baruch, the infinity of Hashem, is felt in Atsilus. In other words, in Atsilus, Chesed is not pure Chesed, it's not total Chesed. Chesed is able to become Gure. Gure is able to become Chesed. That, that idea that the ten spheres get mixed between themselves and they one gives to the other, takes from the other, that is because there's a certain infinity of the Avishta which is revealed in Atsila, and that makes that the spheres are not, you know, clear cut, you know, if I'm Chesed, I'm only Chesed, and Gure, I'm only. They all. So that's the idea that the Avin saw is being mispashed, it is of his being is gali, he reveals himself into Atsilis, yeah, and that's why there's a certain gili of the blingwood of the Ishtar, even in Oilamis. Oilamis I saw for sure, but even in Atsilis, that's what he says of you. That's why the Rebbe says, this is not the real wonder yet. It's also a chid, it's also something special. Say it after, because Atsilis is after the Tzimtzum. And to say that Eir Yisoyed is being misgal and mispashed after the Tzimtzu is a chidrush, you know? But he says, kol kach, the Loshan of the Maimah, he's a pele kol, or he's a pele klal, I don't remember the Loshan yet. It's pele not klal. a wonder, it's not a wonder, it's not a wonder. Well, soon he's going to explain why it's not a wonder. But the point here, that's, where is the big wonder of the Eivishter? Then you say that the infinity of the Eivishter is expressed and revealed even in this world. World of creation, which creation means, which is not godly, not like Atsilus, which is a godly world. Other than it's a world of creation. Our world, which is created, which creation is, is apparently creation means it's disconnected. It's not him, it's him creating something else. And nevertheless, even in there, there is certain inyanim of Gilui. There is a gilu, there's a revelation of godliness even, even in, 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 the, in creation. Which in general, that goes of the, that idea where would we have the gilu of the Ebishter in creation, what he speaks in this mind, is the idea that Chassidus calls it chayas, life. Everything in the world, in this world, is, 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 there is the, there is the, the body, and there's the soul, there is the goof and the nefesh, the, the, the existence and the life. Pashtus, you see, by a person, a person has the body, which is his existence, and then you have the life, which is, life is something which we can't describe exactly what it is, something spiritual, yeah? And that, that, that is like a certain, if you get into the depth of what is life exactly, life is something which is not, it's not something you can touch, you can explain, no one knows what it is. But this is something that makes us a little less physical, right? Life makes us, gives us a certain meaning, gives us a certain, elevates us, makes us a little, um, that's life. So life, if you, what's the source of Chayus? And Chassidus, this is called Chayus and his Havus, that's the, the terms of Chassidus. The creation of the of the of the Nivro and the Neshama of the Nivro. The Neshama of the Nivro, the Chayus of the Nivro, the Etzim, this is the eating soil. That's what he's trying to say in the Maimah. 
that's the eating self which comes down level after level to relate to our world and that is in the yah having that highest of the Eivishta in the creation this is really the wonder that eating self is being misgale even in such in the, in the lowest in the lowest madrigas let's see it inside the mind so he says like this um, the kalim that silus why do we say that Kalim that Silus is not a wonder and the Yah is a wonder? Is, is a wonder. Let me explain. Kalim that Silus and Kegufel and Ifnosim. Kalim that Silus are called like a body to a soul. Masha Enkim, the Yah, and Yachina Filavushi. The Yah is called garments. And that's the difference between that Silus and the Yah. Like he says, in Pasach Elio, Pasach Elio is a part of the Zoya. And over there he explains that the difference between Atsilas and Biya, Atsilas is like a body, and Biya is like garments. What is the difference between a body and garments? Let's get into that a little bit to understand what the Rebbe is going to teach us over here in this line. What is the difference when you say body and you say garments? Body is also a garment. Because it's not the soul himself. The soul is the spiritual soul. Part of Galilee, Chelek Elokamimal. The body is like a kind of levush, kind of begging, kind of garment, which is covering, taking the soul into him. And a garment is the same thing. What's the difference? The difference is that the body is a garment which becomes one with the soul. It's a garment that the soul, when it penetrates into the body, they become one. You can't separate it from them. You see the body, you see life. You don't have to, how do you know if you're alive or not? I don't have to look somewhere else. I see your body, I see you alive. I said, the body tells us because the body reveals highest because the levush of body is a levush amiyuchet. That's the name it's called in Chassidus. It's a levush amiyuchet. It's a garment which, uh, which is united. It's one with the soul. And Masha'enken, the clothing, which are also garments, but they're not one. Yeah, sometimes you, you can't even tell if the guy is alive or not. You yeah, go into a room and you see the guy sleeping and he's covered with his blanket over his head. And you know, the guy is alive, he's not alive. He's, <laughs> he's sleeping so tight. Is totally covered over because the garment does not tell you what's going on under the under the blanket. You understand? So that's a levush which is called a levush anichet, right? So the Zoya wants to explain us the difference between the kingdom of Atzilus, the world of Atzilus, and the world of Yah, and he says that that's the that's the definition. Atzilus, the world, the kingdom are like a body means that Atsilas, the Kalim, even the limited part of Atsilas, you look at it, what do you see there? You see through godliness there. It's like the body which reveals life. Atsilas reveals godliness. And since Atsilas is a Kalim, like a body, so the male, the fact that there is something is galling to Atsilas, that's not a wonder. Because it's a Kalim, it's one. It's like a body. So that's not a big chidush. But biya, which biya is like a garment which is not one, it's separated, it's like a kind of something which is yeah, disconnected. It's, not, it's, it's a garment which is, which is separated. So you look at the garment, you don't see what's there. So it's different in, in the words of Syria. It's a separate. And nevertheless, it is of the matter, the intahlis, even there, it is, of, is, is, is being revealed, even in, in biya. Wow. This is amazing. And his stuff is being misguided into the yah, into something which is be'etzem, created as something which is not him, created something which is separated, levush, nifred, and nevertheless, even there, and his stuff is being misguided. And that's the real be'at on the highest kulam. When we say by davening every morning, be'at on the highest kulam, not for the Alter Rebbe says in Tanya, mechaye means creating. Here it means mechaye, life. That's the difference. Like I said, in the previous Pelik, we spoke about creating. In this Pelik, he speaks about giving chayus. That's the difference between creating and giving life. Chayus, ato mechaye. The veato, the alien soul, comes down into biya, and it gives life, mechaye. 
and, and even even though the eyes are creation which is different, and nevertheless, even there, in itself is being this galam is special. Let's see it inside. Are we saying that? Are we saying that the Ori Saif is revealed there despite the fact that Ulamis Biyaz Be'etz and Mailu Master? Are we saying that even the Lavush, which is typically Mailu Master, is going to be a, 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 a Kli to reveal? Um, I think it's much, a very good question. You're making me, you're making me a little, uh, yeah, it, it is a good question. But I think it's more the first way, not the second way. Mm-hmm. It's Ainya Mitzalei He's not trying to say some other Maimon will speak also. What's the reality of Mitzalei Nisov? Here we speak about a floor in Sof. We speak Mitzalei Ebishtov, Mitzalei Gilus. Elomai, the Chidush is, which is a major Chidush, we have to understand it. There's no much words over here. The Rebbe's Maimon is explaining even more. It's still not so clear. He's trying to say that the Eid in Sof, we always know, we learn to see that, but the Sof is, is everywhere, but he's not the instruction. Other than that, that's why it's called Eid Sof. He's there because it's infinite. It can be, it's, it's all, usually you speak about Sefer Quran. Uh, so he's, so he's, in, he's in the, the Rebbe says, yeah, he's in all the details. But that's not the, not the instructions. Other than that. Here he's saying the instructions. And nevertheless, it's in the soul. But not because the world is a cave. It's not milamata lemaila. That's not the point of this maila. It's milamata lemaila. Okay. Um, about orange soap being revealed lower, yeah. it says his, bevechinus <clears throat> ishpastus, bevechinus ein soap. It doesn't say ein uh, soap itself is revealed. It sounds like ishpastus, something that comes out of. No, 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 it means the Eretz of himself is being special. Because yeah. Spastus is, is not the thing itself. Why not? It's He's like not. Uh, his Spastus, the Moshe of Chaldar. It's not Moshe of Enu. It's something so that you, comes from you, his Spastus. So you like have a, the term of his Spastus on somewhere else, and that's what makes you the problem. Forget about the Spastus of Moshe of Chaldar, because that's not the point of view. Mm-hmm. Here is Pashtus, the word of Ispashtus, the literal translation of Ispashtus. What is the literal translation of Ispashtus? Expansion. So when the light is expanded, it's not the only it's, just, it's that light. You understand? In Hebrew, when you say, okay, so I turn on a light, I turn on a light, and then I opened up some windows in order that the light should expand in other rooms. That's in Hebrew called the specials. Not like, not as a result. That uh, continues the mind of saying, yeah, there we are to. The Kama, the Bush in Kinas, no in the Koyi, Albiya. The Abishta says there's different garments which go to the three worlds. There are garments for the Kenyan that Silus. Silus is like the body, and Bia is like the garments. I know, like it says in the Zoyal. What's the idea that the three worlds of Bria, Silasia are garments for that Silus? So he brings us Zoyal. I'm not going to get into the whole sugi now because we're going to, I want to get to the Avedi de Kapal. <laughs> so at least translate. Yeah. The Zoyal says that the mother, which is Bino, what's the garment for Bine, for the mother, for Atsilus? Kursayo. Kursayo is the. Is that not English? He say? Throne, yeah. You will think. Throne? Is that called Eglam Abriya? Yeah, Eglam Abriya is the place where Bria is being revealed. Yeah, Bria is being loved. Not being that silly, so I'm not going to go say you. Eglam Akisa, Eglam Abriya. She's Piron. See that the six pillars of Zerampin is revealed in Tzire. Oifan, Oifan is Malchus. Malchus is called Oifan. Oifan is like the wheel. Oifanai, the wheel. It's the lowest, the Malchus. Vasie, this is revealed in the world of Vasie. Chochei Mikro Biyamato, that's why Biyah is called Mato. 
כפי שהם רק לבושים וירצי ויעשה. אז גם את זה. That's the חידוש, אין אינסוף למטה. Where does אין אינסוף reveal himself? What's the major wonder the Zoya is trying to tell us? That even in Mato, even in Biya, even there, Ein Esof is also there and is being this Galam is passionate into the Nebraim of Biya. And all the three of them, three Yitzir Asir. Ulebush in the Biya, Oimel, now says the Nebbe, speaking about Biya. So now, what's the relationship to us? We said before that the whole point of the Maimer is to explain how do we make the world a dwelling place for the Evishta. Through our Avoide, each year is able to create this base amygdala. So, what's the connection? So, now comes the Rebbe and he connects the Levushin, the Biyah, or you know, the Zoya, that same Zoya that explains the definition, the difference between Atsilas and Biyah, that Biyah is garments. He says over there that those garments, those are the source of our souls. Minayu, Korchin, Yishmotzi, and the Blinosha. Zoya said, yeah, that. Those garments of Biyah, this is the source of the Neshamas that comes into the people. Shehim and Neshamas. A big Chidush. We always used to learn on the that the Neshamas come from Atsilus. That's the source of the Neshamas. Now, the Rebbe says in Tanya, we say it every morning by Davinim. Elokai Neshama, Shemesato, Bito, Hiloi. Our Neshama is pure, which pure means Atsilus, Atsilus. And that's our Neshama, the Atsilus, Atsilus. Nevertheless, we look in the Zoya. Zoya says something else. Zoya says that our Nishamis are coming from the garments. The truth is, we also say it. <laughs> After saying Taida, ah, okay, so what's going on? So our Nishamis is a Tilus of Yah. So the Rebbe explains, Jehine, Rey, our Nishamis and Nishamis of Yah. Most of the souls, most, most of the Nishamis, our Nishamis of Yah. Which means the kids of, without getting into all the sugi and all the details, we should understand that the kuda, which is very important. All the shamas come from Atsilus. All the shamas go down to the yak. Because that's our place. We work. That's our uh, mission. We are coming to this world to make this world a place for every time. But so that's what happens. All the Rishamas in, 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 in the essence belong to Atsila. All the Rishamas come down to the Biyah. But the difference is that most of the Rishamas, when they come into Biyah, they become part of it. That's what they, that's, that becomes their, their, their Messiah, their existence, their essence. They lose. In a certain extent, you can say they lose, but they, a certain extent they, they lose that, that, that they're not at Silas anymore. Coming into the Yah makes you the Yah. That's why we feel the world and we, we love the world and we connect the world and Gashmias takes us over. And, and that's, why we, that's why we look like we look like. <laughs> we are the Yah people. Yeah, that's the most of the Nishamis. The very, very special Nishamis. Yeah, one in our generation, as the Rebbe said over here, which are at Silas Nishamis. Which they're down here in a body, but you look at them, you don't see. Uh, you don't see them. They, 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 they belong to something else. Like it says in this week's process about Moshe Rabbeinu coming into Paris house. So Moshe was at the that Silas, even down here. And when Moshe stood in front of Paris, the same uh, for a square feet, they were standing together. So Moshe Rabbeinu was down here, the way it is in Atsilas without any change. And Paris was the biggest, yeah, clip like the Rebbe is going to continue the minor. We missed the win, okay? We have permission to learn the end of the okay? We're going to finish it later. The point is that this is the wow, the connecting between the, and that's what the Rebbe is trying to say in this minor. The Rebbe is trying to say in the minor is that Meshar Abdeinu being at the at Silus, and we are all related to Meshar Abdeinu because he's the Chad Bedore, so the old generation. Gets from him highest, so he makes that even us, that we are people of Yah, we are able to do our mission and make from this world a little bit better. And then, and that's why Yerisov comes into each person, and that's the treasures that Hashem gives us to be able to 
take over the parry that we have in ourselves. So the Rebbe explains in the end of the painting what means parry in our way by each person. Okay, so we'll have to speak about it by the family. At least the team of